Hey guys, we all seven no code AI. Who is ready for some powerful? AI is taking over our lives, so I'm so excited to show you these incredible AI tools that will make your social media life a whole lot easier. From suggesting the best times to post, creating scripts for your TikToks, and even designing an app for you. I'm so excited to show you guys, so let's go. Audio Pen AI. What makes it so great? Just to write scripts for your TikToks, or emails, or journal entries. You press the big orange button and that will let you record your voice. Then the AI will convert it to text. And you're probably thinking like, okay, whatever. Like my iPhone does this too. And I thought the same thing at first, but this is different guys. And this is different. It's different because this app will clean up filler words, restructure text so that it's easy to read. And it will also fix up any mistakes or stumbles as you're speaking. In the export settings, you can make it shorter. You can make it longer. You can ask for it to write it in a different language. What? So you're telling me that I can just word vomit all of my thoughts and this AI is going to fix it for me and also translate it to other languages. Is this the future? So Galileo AI allows you to upload an image or create a user interface or a user experience, which is web design. If you browse through their website, they show you a couple of examples, both on the web apps, but also on the mobile app experiences. So you can open up one of these, for example, and get a little look at it. Looks pretty striking. So we're in, let's check out the text to UI first. Okay, so here I'm gonna ask it to create an on-demand dog walking app. I'm gonna keep it very simple. Let's see what it comes up with. Now what I love here is the first thing it asks me is what screens are you actually gonna need for this? I'm just gonna tell them I need them all. It now reads me back what it's about to generate, which I really like, and it asks me if that sounds good. So it says it's gonna create a home screen, a booking screen, and a payment screen. Good. Okay, now as you can see, it's generating out these different pages. Well, and here it's created the three. That is insane. Merlin.ai, which essentially uh, allows us to use ChatGPT uh, native to our Google Chrome platform. And so if we hover over any text, we hit this button here. And if you go over to Google Chrome extensions, you'll be able to find Merlin. And what it's going to do is it's going to take the context of this email here, and I can ask Merlin to write a response. Write a rejection. Uh, response to this email please what an email right <laughs> if you need help with a curl extension click here here's how we are using ai to personalize cold email copy in just two minutes you can now run custom ai prompts in gpt4 in bulk on all of your uploaded contacts at once first i scraped a list of podcast host emails from ig leads and then I uploaded that data into Instantly to get myself booked on autopilot. Now, once I uploaded this list of leads, I ran a custom GPT-4 prompt, and that took their podcast description and its knowledge of my expertise, and it created a clickbait title for a podcast that we would create together. Now, the results of this campaign have been insane. I've actually had to turn it off multiple times because I was getting booked on too many podcasts too fast. Through the use of AI technologies, where you're going to be able to create more videos faster than ever before without even needing to write a single word or speak a single word huh? or even edit a single word. Huh? All by using an automatic video creation tool like Flicky. First off, we're going to need a script. So let's head back into ChatGPT and ask it to write a short post that gives us five more tips on how to become a more productive entrepreneur. Then once that's done, we'll copy it all, head over to Flicky, create a new video and paste the script there. We'll also choose a voice that we like. So let's go with Sarah. Then Flicky will use its AI to automatically pick stock video footage to put alongside our script. And Sarah will narrate over the entire thing. Now, some of the footage isn't going to be great. We'll also have to tweak the script a bit to make sure that the AI voice doesn't put the emphasis on the wrong syllable. But overall, it's not bad. If you found these tools helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips. And if you know any other AI tools that will help your business grow, don't forget to comment down below.